it's the holiday season. We are celebrating our daughter's seventh birthday. She was born on Christmas. She is truly a blessing. And the reason I say that is because it took us seven years to have a child. We struggled big time with all types of infertility issues. But there are three things that I learned from that experience about persistence that I want to share with you today. First of all, I want to start out by saying that I empathize with those of you who are dealing with infertility. The reason I'm using that experience is because it wasn't until I had to deal with infertility that I truly learned what it meant to be persistent. And so I'm going to share with you my three cues that will inspire you to be persistent, whether you are dealing with infertility or you are trying to achieve some goal in life. Hopefully you can learn something from me today that will help you to develop the mindset of persistence. First of all, you have to have a why. Your why is the reason behind your desire to pursue your goal. Your why has to be bigger than any problems that you will face. My why consisted of these three things. First of all, I said, I'm gonna be the dad that I never had. The second aspect of my why is that I wanted to disrupt multi-generational poverty. Just because I was born poor didn't mean that I was gonna stay poor and I have disrupted it. And then thirdly, I said, I wanna leave a legacy. I wanna leave something behind more than a big car, a big house. I wanna leave my wisdom and my wealth. Second thing you need to do is transplant your negative thoughts. Experts say that we think about 50,000 thoughts every day. About 70 to 80% of those thoughts are negative. That equals about 40,000 thoughts that we think every day are negative. Listen to me, you can't achieve positive things if you are thinking negative thoughts all the time. The last thing I wanna share with you is this. Believing is seeing, not seeing is believing. All the pregnancy tests that we took said no. All the results from the doctor's visits said no. My wife's biology said no. The doctor said she only has so many healthy eggs left. She's too advanced in age. It's not going to happen. Even some of my friends said no. My finances said no. We depleted our resources. We cashed out stock. We borrowed. We sold our house. Our money said no. Everything outside of us said no. But in my mind, I created this picture that said, I will be the dad that I never had. I said yes. You must believe before you see. And guess what happened? What I believe came into fruition. My wife called me and said, hey, I'm late. No surprise. Because if faith is the substance of things hoped for, I had already seen what I hoped for before it happened. And when she told me she was late and we discovered she was pregnant and all the things that we tried didn't work, but our faith and our God helped us to realize the yes that we saw in our mind. Listen, I don't know what you are going through, but I wanna encourage you today to never give up on what it is that you believe in your mind because one day, if you are persistent, it will happen. Listen, take your cues from me and live a great life. Next cue, let's go. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment below. Next cue.